Hey, this is Gamer Guide, and I'm going to give you the walkthrough for Resident Evil 4 HD on the Xbox 360. Uh, this is my second playthrough. You can still use it. If it's your first playthrough, it's just going to be a little more difficult for you, and it's going to take a little more ammo. So here we go. Start out in the village. Right there. Got to go to the red destination circle. I'll check the map couple more times. And I've also got a cold. I'm not addicted to coke or anything. So here we sniffling. Oh god. I got a Chris Hansen in this house here. Waiting on us. With a glass of iced tea. That's a bitch of a box. Yep, see I bought the treasure map so it shows a little blue bottle caps that you need to get and that'll get you a free pistol that you can use or sell. Hey, you're not very happy. See you later, car. Hey, I want to talk to you. He's not at all me. Well, he's fucking pissed off, whatever he is. And he's dead. There's some handgun ammo behind you, and now you can look down, there's a guy to the left down here, and a guy, or two guys to the right, and you can shoot him down there before you jump out this window, and I did it on my first playthrough because it takes a lot more bullets. Right now it's only going to take one bullet, so I'm going to chop in the head though, but I should have done that. Turn around one more guy. Oh, damn, nice move, bro. I'm not sure why these guys are carrying on so much cash. A bunch of coins. I wonder they're walking so fucking slow. Oh, no. So we're supposed to run back this way. I've never looked that way before. I wonder if there's something back there. Come in here. Uh, you can always... There's a ton of save spots, so... You don't have to save every time. Save this little puppy. Somehow got caught in a bear trap. Down here, and I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to check to see what if my thing was recording, and I ran right into that thing. So I'll do that. It's also a bear trap right between those two trees, so you might want to look down. You can knife those things to save ammunition. Right up here, come in this little love shack here, and whiff two times. Can get it. Or you can just get on the first time, doesn't matter. How much time you got. And then go back up here and go the wrong way because you forgot to get a little coin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard that, buddy. See, my gun's all the way upgraded, so it just takes one shot in the chest to kill these guys. I'm not sure why they're not disappearing, because they're not giving me anything. But, if you hit them in the head a couple times, of course you can't shoot through that thing. It's a goddamn gun. You can't shoot through a little wicker shag. So, dispose of that guy. Take him out. And get ammo. I should have sold my grenades. If you're on your second playthrough and you got that many grenades at first, you don't, you don't need that many grenades. You can sell them. And I want to get up to the million coins to get the uh, infinite rocket launcher. So that's what I'll be saving my money for. You can upgrade your other guns if you want to, or buy a new gun, upgrade it. Buddy. Whoa, good shot, man. A axe sniper. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. In the shoulder. I don't bother to clean it up. Man. How'd that slip these people's mind? They're so normal. Sorry, you're not gonna need that. Time for dinner. So now what you should do is go around and just, if it's your first time, just go around, check every little nook and cranny of this place, and smash all the boxes, get all the, get all the items you need. I'll go around and get some of it, but I'm not gonna deep search through everything. The red um, herbs can be combined with the green or the yellow and the red just multiplies its effectiveness I guess so if you put a red and a green together it's going to refill your health your health all the, all the way and yellow ones will take your maximum health up a little bit higher and the ordinary just a dirty old cabinet Shotgun's right there on the wall. If it's your first playthrough, then go ahead and grab it. Or definitely grab it, because you're probably going to have some guys in your heels at this point. So, um, yeah. Well, I'm not going to take it, because I have the striker. So, even though there's no one around, you can perfectly be fine using the stairs. You can jump out there like a badass. Climb up here. I believe there's shotgun shells up here. Jump back down and just kind of root around this village and get all the stuff you need to get. Golden egg. Go back up there. You just go up this window here and go around the house, and you'll get a little. It's not a treasure on the map, but it's a little mini treasure. Eventually, make your way up to these doors here, and this is where the bottle caps are. And there are seven bottle caps in this little area. Here's one right here. Wait on that little. Treasure there, don't get that quite yet. Let's wait till we kill these guys here. Gotta keep whiffing everything, I don't know. Another bottle cap right there. There and shoot that one out. Hopefully one shot. Hopefully you're a better shot than I am. I don't claim to be a good shot. Uh, there's one on that windmill there. One deep here, and I'm gonna cheat. I'm not gonna. See, I'm struggling here. Yeah, I'm gonna use my my rifle. I'm cheating, but I have it, so I can. But you can get it with the pistol. I had to do it the first time with the pistol. To get in that little area there, you gotta jump off the roof or off that little deck in a certain spot to get down there. 
I believe there's a treasure behind there. Nothing in there. Oh. oh yeah, let's get this thing. I'm gonna shoot this little stick, propping it up first, and then shoot it down so it doesn't fall in that rusty water and become rusty, and you'll make a lot more money just by doing that. Your first playthrough, you really need to conserve your ammo and all that stuff. It's the Beerstein. Beerstein. The Beerstein Bears. You want to hang on to that until you fill it with, get the jewels to put into it. It becomes a lot more valuable. Don't just sell it right away. Don't sell any of your stuff right away until you got it fully. Because we'll find all the stuff. Another one up there. So we got all seven of them. And climb back up here. Jump down here. And you want to make your way. Make sure I got all the treasures first here. Yep. Two of them in there. I can way down here. And I gotta shoot up this rock down so you gotta tap X and just run away and then get ready because you're gonna tap X and A. Or it could be the both the triggers, but just be ready for it. Now I think there's something. Yeah, this is the way you go. Shoot these down. You got guys throwing dynamite at you. Little spider, I don't see that. Get out of there, it's gonna blow up. No, I think there's a couple more in this. There's a bear trap there. And you can knife those to save your ammo. One treasure out here, it's out here somewhere. Murder. Yeah, look how many grenades I have. I really don't need these. You can use, you're going to probably want to use them more in your first playthrough. You can knife this lock off, it goes faster, but I don't. I like to do things the long way for some reason. Another typewriter there, but really you don't need to save until, because you'll, if you die, you'll continue from the last little door you went through or whatever checkpoint video. It's a lot, a lot quicker than your typewriter. Only when you turn your game off do you need to save it to get back to where you were. Go back out here, I think. Over here. Nope. Right in one, I think it's on this one of these trees somewhere. I think it's in here. I don't want to get too close to that cabinet because it'll open it up and then you won't be able to get the get the stuff. Oh, there it is. Red cat's eye. These go with the beer, beer stein or beer stein, and I already have two from the other walkthrough, so I'm gonna put them in there now. But we'll pick them up along the way pretty quick here. Go back through here, and get this jackass out of here. And that's it. That's the end of. 1-1. Be sure to rate and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in and check out my next video where I'll continue on the walkthrough and peace out.